We're now going to have a look at utilising fields in AutoCAD and linking them to our viewports and our viewport text. Now what we're going to do, can you see it says plan down there and scale 1 to 50 in the plan ground floor layout tab. So let's have a look at utilising these fields and linking that text to our viewport scale. I've got a drawing open called Using Fields Complete. If you want to follow along with the video, make sure that you use using fields.dwg from your working files. Now, I'm just going to pan a little bit and then zoom in nice and tight. Make sure you can see the edge of your viewport and the text. What I'm going to do is double click on the text as if I'm editing it and you'll see that we go into the text editor tab on the ribbon there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the 1 to 50 text there. I'm just going to delete it like so. Now, I've got my cursor there in the editing field of the text. What I want to do is I want to add a field there. So if I just click on field here, that will open up the field dialog box and I can insert a field into the text. Now what I want to do is make sure that I utilize the appropriate category, which is objects. And then I want to use an actual object and part of an object to put a field into the text. In the object type over here in the middle column, I click on this button here, select object. And using my pick box, I select my viewport there. As soon as I do that, it knows what the object type is. It's a viewport. I want my standard scale, and there's the preview 1 to 50. Now I can have that in uppercase, lowercase, in this case, no case because it's numerical, but it could be a different attribute or object type or field. I'll click on OK, and that puts 1 to 50 in there like so. If I just click away now from the text, you can see I've still got 1 to 50, but it's got that grey background indicating that it's a field. So if I now just double click and zoom out again, zoom extents, and maybe change the scale of the viewport. I'll bring it back though, I'll double click in there and I'll change that scale to say 1 to 40. Now that messes up all the dimensioning and the annotative scaling, don't worry about that, we'll undo it in a moment. And then I double click outside the viewport. Now I'm just going to pan and I'm going to zoom. At the moment it says 1 to 50, but if I type regen, like so, that will regenerate the drawing it updates to 1 to 40, to the current viewport scale. That's what fields are all about, and it's great to link them like that, because then whenever you update your viewport and change the scale, your text updates automatically. I'll just double click outside the viewport again, double click inside it, change the scale back to 1 to 50, like so. Everything updates accordingly, dimensions come back with the annotative scaling, double click outside the viewport, and again I'll pan, and I'll zoom, type regen again, so it regenerates the drawing and it goes back to 1 to 50. I'll double click to zoom extents. Another way of regenerating the drawing as well is to actually click on the save icon here at the top of the screen. That'll do the same thing on the quick access toolbar. So if you do a quick save, that'll also regenerate that field showing the scale there. So you can see that's a really neat way of maintaining your text that tells you what scale your viewport is at. So use those fields in AutoCAD. They're very, very useful sometimes when you're creating scaled viewports in your construction drawings.